Long live Belarus. That chant wasn't ringing out in Minsk, but in Warsaw as a show of solidarity with the Belarusian opposition. It was one of several rallies held in cities around the world. And it came days after prominent opposition journalist Roman Protasevich's plane was forced to land in Minsk and he was arrested. Not even the open skies is safe from the reach of Belarusian authorities. In the crowd in Warsaw, Protasevich's parents called on the international community to help free their son. I ask all the countries of the European Union. I ask America. I ask the whole international community to help us. Help us free Roman. Help us free Sofia and all political prisoners. On May 23rd, the Ryanair flight from Athens to Vilnius, carrying Roman and his girlfriend Sofia, was diverted to Minsk after the Belarusian authorities claimed Hamas had made a bomb threat. European leaders called it a hijacking. A video later emerged of Protasevich appearing to confess to organizing demonstrations. His family say it's clear Roman was acting under duress. Protasevich is a former editor of the opposition Nexta channel on the social media app Telegram. It published accounts of the mass protests that rocked Belarus after the disputed presidential election between incumbent Alexander Lukashenko and opposition candidate Svetlana Tikhanovskaya. Security forces loyal to Lukashenko have arrested thousands of protesters, and there have been widespread reports that people in custody have been tortured. There is little room for dissent inside Belarus. But now, even beyond its borders, the voices of the pro-democracy movement have to be on alert. <laughs>